Is anyone else obsessed with watching those home makeover shows such as Fixer Upper or Dream Home Makeover? They make it look so easy on TV, but when you're living through it and you're doing it yourself, then it's a different story. Now, just to recap, this is the second part of our bathroom remodel. So in the first part, I'm showing you some before and after pictures where we did end up hiring a professional to come out and lay all of the marble on the floors, the walls, and the shower. Let's just say it took a lot longer than expected and the budget was a little over. So everything that we are doing in this video, we are doing ourselves and our budget is going to be a little bit tighter. But we're gonna continue right where we left off, starting with changing out all of the fixtures. Before the renovation, our bathroom was more of a tan color with lots of tan tile and tan walls and our fixtures were a dark bronze. We then opted to try and go to a matte black before I then returned everything we bought and changed my mind and wanted a gold. Now, the only problem with gold, it's really trendy right now and it is so beautiful, is that there is no one gold color that is alike. So we had a lot of, a lot of trouble matching everything. And the hardware that we bought for the shower or the fixtures is from Fister. We went to a company that sold this wholesale product and Besides the fixtures, which were a lot more expensive than I originally thought they were going to be, um, this is kind of where our budget was like, okay, we next, after the fixtures are installed, we're going to have to get creative and finish this bathroom on a tighter budget. Now, when you are changing out the fixtures, you also have to get the correct valve. So not only were the fixtures an additional cost, but then getting the right valve was an additional cost and then getting a plumber to plumb it was an additional cost. So just a few things to note when changing out the fixtures. Now, this brand, Fister, we could go and get the same color gold throughout, but they didn't have like, for example, light fixtures. They didn't have hardware for cabinets. So as much as we could get the same brand, we did to match the gold. Now, the next thing we're going to do is paint the whole bathroom. We went with the Benjamin Moore Simply White. And one thing we have to do is make sure that we paint all of the window inserts. We went back and forth whether or not to paint them black or white, but since we opted to not get the black fish fixtures, then we decided to go ahead and paint them white. I've gotten a lot of questions about what the original paint color is because this is the paint color that is all over our living room and throughout the house. And the answer is, I, I'm not sure. It was a builder paint grade that they came in and painted. I can't even remember if we picked it out or not, but it is not quite gray and it's not quite tan. I wanna say it's kind of a taupe, but it does lean more towards a tan color. So to match the marble we picked out, we opted to do bright white, or in this case, Benjamin Moore Simply White. Now they also ripped down this wall, so we have exposed, exposed sheetrock here, and our tile guy was like, I don't do sheetrock. So we then had to find someone who does sheetrock to come and fix that gap. So we, we ran into a few issues along the process, but finally we have completed it. Now, one thing to note when painting, make sure you get a really good primer. We did not prime the walls and we ended up going through two gallons of paint. So I don't know if it came with a paint and primer. My husband just picked it up, but originally I think a lot of the paints have primer in them already. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if we could have done this with Benjamin Moore. I'm sure we could have, 
um, or we could have just bought the primer, done a quick coat of priming, and then we wouldn't have had to use so much paint. So we're kind of doing a couple coats here before we finish out all of the paint. The next thing we had to do to finish up this project was order a custom glass door that fit the exact measurements of the wall that we cut out. So this wall was originally all enclosed. Here's a quick picture of what it looked like before. So when we, when we ripped out that wall, we needed a new glass door and we opted to go as high as we could with the glass so that it would hold in heat almost like a sauna. But we did have someone come out and fix the sheetrock and the next thing that we are going to change out are the light fixtures. We started in the bathroom toilet area and this was a pendant light that we used to have in our kitchen. So we are just going to repurpose it and hang it here instead of buying a new light. And the only thing is, is that this light has a silver or chrome uh, background around it. And we originally hung it up and I was like, Chris, this is not going to work. We're going to have to figure out something. So we ended up going to Lowe's getting spray paint. Now I, we picked out two different types of spray paint to see which one would match best with the fixtures that we already had. And we picked this one. So we spray painted the edge of it and we're just going to reuse this in that toilet area now you'll notice that we end up using the spray paint a lot because you know when you order stuff online you just don't know the exact shade of color it's going to be and we'd have to make a decision whether or not we were going to keep it and just be okay with the different golds or we were going to spray paint it i will say at first i was opposed to spray paint but it ended up being our saving grace so the next thing that we did and something that you guys can do that's pretty budget friendly is redo the frames of the mirrors it just gives it an extra elegant look to it if you don't have like one of those light frames, if you know what I'm talking, light mirrors where like you turn it on and the frame is a light. But the first thing we had to do was figure out how to take off this um, frame that we already had. We watched a couple of YouTube videos and saw that it was somehow glued on and they said to use a hair dryer to really um, get the heat onto it and it's a lot easier to pull apart the glue once it's really hot so for so uh, when the other mirror was taken down it was taken down because we retiled that wall and put marble along the along that whole wall um, but this mirror we're keeping and we are attempting to just use the heat of the hair dryer and then slowly pull apart the framing that is really, really tightly glued on without cracking the mirror. Now we did end up getting it all down in just about one piece. We did have to crack the framing a little bit, but we don't plan on reusing this framing. So it ended up being okay. Luckily we did not crack the mirror, but we did have to get a razor blade and kind of scrape off the remaining glue that was stuck to the mirror. We went to Home Depot and purchased six pieces of wood trim. I wanna say like total, it was maybe $30. And then our spray paint color that we continue to use was about a $9 spray paint can. And then we will use this kitchen and bath clear silicon to attach it or glue it onto the framing and then stick it to the wall. The hardest part with this is just getting all of the measurements cut exactly so you don't even have to have like a fancy saw or anything because the wood trim is so thin and then I will just go and spray paint everything and wait for it to dry. So while we are waiting for all of that to dry, then we're going to remove this light fixture. This was the last light fixture we had and it was giving us the light in the bathroom. And we realized there is a huge hole in the wall and we just had the sheet rocker, rockers leave. The existing light we bought would not cover this hole, but it looks like whenever the 
builders came in they did it in the wrong spot and then they must have moved the light over and just left that hole there because the existing light covered that hole so now we can't change the light fixtures until we get a sheet rocker to come out and fix that hole again we're taping the framing up to make sure that everything looks okay and then we're going to come back to this once we get the other mirror hung we're going to finish them all up but one thing we had to do was remove the toilet whenever they were laying all of the tile so the toilet was hanging out in the backyard for a while in one of my previous cleaning videos you'll see we we cleaned it all out but now um, we're gonna have Chris reinstall the toilet now there was nothing wrong with the existing toilet so we are not replacing it just need to make sure it gets a good clean and that everything works properly with no leaks All right, so I had a really big debate on these faucets. Now, the hardware, I mean, the fixture that we bought for the bathtub was a, the Fister brand, and it was kind of similar to this. And, and basically, when we went to like the design center to pick out fixtures, they say to pick one fixture, so maybe the bathtub fixture, and then plan your whole bathroom around that one fixture. Now, I was surprised on, at how much these fixtures cost. Um, I know that you can get more affordable ones off of Amazon or whatever, but when you're mixing and matching the colors, it's really difficult. And when you spray paint, I do not recommend spray painting anything that, that is going to get wet because especially the gold, it will leave water spots over it. So I don't recommend spray painting your faucets or anything. Um, maybe like just the lights or something that you're not going to touch a lot. So we went with that method. We picked out the bathroom faucets first and then we try to design everything around it now the bathroom fixture was like way more expensive than what i like could even fathom it was like close to 600 dollars, and i'm not even kidding i just was mind blown by the expense of these fixtures so we ended up getting it but now the matching ones on the sinks were like gonna be another six hundred dollars and i was like absolutely not we're going going to make it work so we ended up just purchasing those for from lowe's i think they were 130 dollars each they are different color golds it bothers me just a little bit but um and i just went with it and you know it's they still look completely fine now these were the new light fixtures that we ordered and we did hang one on to the wall and it is like really off gold like bothered me so bad how much off gold it was and I was hesitant to spray paint because like I said I didn't want to like order this nice stuff and then have to spray paint it all but we just figured that we have the closest spray paint to the original bathroom faucet that we have and because this fixture is going to be up on the wall it's not going to be touched it's not going to like get water splashed all over it then we felt safe spray painting it and it just it was very difficult to match golds. Like I said, gold is a beautiful color, but when you're working with different brands and different shades, some of them come off more yellowish. Some can even have a more silver tone. It was just almost the amount of items that we purchased and returned was just a lot. So like I said, spray paint was kind of our saving grace just to get everything the most cohesive gold as we could. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it And I promise that I I will stand by you forever I can't get you out of my the next thing that can be easily changed is the hardware on the drawers. And one thing to note that most hardware is about three to three and a half inches wide, whereas ours, I guess the previous one that we used and put on was two and a half inches. So finding two and a half inch you know, knobs or pools was a little bit difficult. So I ordered some on Amazon. I ordered the two and a half inch. They sent me the three inch. Um, just a quick note that also came with my Amazon order with marble. You do have to use special cleaner. So I had to get, make sure I get special stone cleaner so it doesn't 
ruin the marble. But um, I ended up having to, to, to return it, reorder the two and a half inch ones, and then also got the knobs. I did not spray paint these. Um, I just kind of went with it and I think that it turned out looking nice. This door eye bath mat is, it's a little bit of an investment, but it is an actual natural stone that absorbs the water and doesn't get mushy. And I was hesitant to buy it. This is not sponsored or anything like that. Um, I just really like it. So I wanted to share it with you guys. And a friend told me about it. I ordered the smaller one and basically it absorbs all the water. And this is a stone, it's not a mat. So it feels really cool. It dries fast and it basically sucks the water off of your feet. It's really cool. I'm gonna order another one for our in front of our bath but now we're moving back to the mirror frames we're gonna go ahead and glue on the border of it make sure that everyone is aligned everything is aligned exactly so there's no gaps or spaces The tape just helps hold it in place and once we got everything glued on using that silicone type glue, then we just let it sit there for about 24 hours before we remove the tape. And the last piece of the project, also the most important in my opinion, is the chandelier. Now I had such a hard time picking out a chandelier. The one that we ended up purchasing is from Amazon. It's a very common type chandelier and I knew that I liked it. It has a modern feel, but I was trying to go with something a little bit different, but I couldn't find anything that was in my budget that I liked more than the chandelier. As with most stuff from Amazon, or at least what I feel like, it comes in a ton of pieces, so it takes a little bit to assemble. I would say it probably took us about an hour to fully assemble it, and then it took an additional like 30 minutes or so for Chris to get all the wiring done and actually hung on to the ceiling. So this one was right at $100. I feel like maybe it was about $109, but the gold matched perfectly. That was that was a big concern of mine. Um, you know, does it look like the pit, the picture or is it going to be different? So we didn't have to spray paint or anything because I was happy with the color of gold that it was. Now, if you notice, we have a little white piece up there and that covers the hole. So if the chandelier is, um, the base of the chandelier, whatever it's called, is smaller than the hole that you have on the wall, then you can get one of those cover pieces and then cover the hole without having to, you know, get a new piece of the chandelier. We had it white before, but we decided to go ahead and spray paint that piece so that it does look like it's part of the chandelier. But now that we are just about finished up, I'm gonna show you all of the before and afters.
Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you got a couple ideas if you were wanting to change up your space a little bit. If you like projects, I do have some more coming, so I'll hope that you subscribe, and I will see you all next week.